covenanted with you when you came out of Egypt, so my spirit remains among you. Do not fear. And now Hebrews chapter 11, verses 1 and 6. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. But without, but without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he who comes to God must believe that he is, and that he is, and that he is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. The word of the Lord. Amen. Good morning, church. Good morning. We just read in the scripture that without faith, yes. it's impossible to please God. So if you have faith, even the faith of a mustard seed, you need to give God the praise and the glory. Let us worship him and give him honor and pray right now. Father God, we come to you today knowing that you are the almighty Lord, God. You are the perfect God, Lord. You are everything to us, God. And we just thank you for everything that you've done for us in advance, Lord. We thank you for the things that you have not done because you knew that we didn't need them, Father God. We thank you for being a healer, Lord. We thank you for being a healer, Lord. We thank you for, healer, yes, we thank you for blessing us, Lord, and blessing our families, Father God. We thank you for allowing us to come here to this place to worship you, Lord. And we thank you for preparing the land there and accessible hand, Lord, so that way we can have our church and to praise you, Lord. We thank you for allowing us to reach the community there, God. And we thank you for the community that we have here today and online, Father God. I ask a special blessing, Lord, for those that are not able to be here, Lord. Those that need healing, Lord, in their mind, in their bodies, and in their spirit, God, touch them, Lord. Give me the peace that they need, God, the peace that surpasses all understanding, Lord. And we thank you for the married couples that we have here, Lord. We thank you for the strength and the bond that we have with you, with our husbands and wives, God. And we thank you for our children, Lord, who are blessed, Lord. We thank you for our children that we're not feeling. Week, Lord, that you just brought them here because we had that faith of mustard seed, Father God, because you were able to move mountains as you always do, Lord. We thank you for the school districts, God, and the people that work in the school districts, Lord. And we just ask that you point them from the head to their feet, Lord. Anyone that's going to come into contact with our children and any children, Lord, I ask that you give them a protecting bubble and allow your angels around the Lord and put a fiery ring of protection, Lord, around our children, Lord. Well, we thank you, God, for our deaconess. We thank you, Lord, for our deacon leader, Lord, for the strength that they have to go through willingly, not just every Sunday, but every day, day in and day out, Lord. We ask that you touch them, Lord. Lord, and touch our past in here. No one knows exactly what he goes through all the time, Lord, but you know it. We thank you for allowing him from heaven, Lord, and using him as a vessel to help him guide us, God. Just bless us all, Lord. Continue to bless us all, Lord, and allow us to always remember that it's you, God. It is no one else but you, God. It's you, God. You are the one that gets us through the week. You're the one that gets us through the day and gets us up in the morning, God, and we just thank you, Lord. We can't praise you enough, God, because you are worthy, God, and you are awesome, God, and we just thank you, Lord. We thank you, God. And we praise you, God. And we ask that you keep your presence here with us and you don't leave us from the presence, Lord. You travel with us in our car. You travel with us to our homes, to our schools, wherever we may be, Lord. And we thank you for that protection and abuse, Lord. We praise you, we lift you, we magnify your name. Amen. 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 Come on, let's hit the place of part two. Let's do our song again. Come on, stand with me. I love Jesus. Come on, sing to him today. I love
amazing and I thank you. And for that, I appreciate it and I love you. Thank you, Lord, for everything. Please, we're going to have a musical selection by the end of the book.
that's your desire. Just to be committed on an everyday basis. We'll have voluntary prayer by taking Michael Davis.
young kids in our church. Our young adults are growing by the leaps and bounds. They're leading us in worship. They're teaching those coming under them. Because they believe that all they are and all of the glory and all of the God. All the young people, all the young people stay, all the young people stay, all the young people, all the young people, all the young people, all the young adults. Come on, praise God. But the song 
room is about succeeding despite having disadvantages. So many things that help you down. And it was widely interpreted by such a to about the experience of the African American community and, and all the things we've been through. Anybody here ever been through something like that? And so the song was so popular to me because they even called it the new black national anthem. And so here it is, blood in 2022. They've been so many things that held us down. The economy, the political social scene, the COVID-19 global pandemic. But we won't let nothing. Chapter 2. Hey, I called Zerubbabel, the governor, and Jeremiah, the priest, and 
must show the remnant of the tomb of Jews to finish the building project that was started. Now, people who may remember, remember Solomon's temple that was destroyed by the Babylonians under the providence of God. They, they didn't think that this new temple would be as fancy or as glorious as the old temple. And it caused people to be discouraged. And because things weren't moving like it should be moving, people started right. to get discouraged. So here I called them to keep faithful and to keep on moving by faith despite what we can see, y'all, despite what things look like. Let's keep moving forward by faith. No matter what things look like, if you can only look up in your furnace. <laughs> I heard that from Fritz Jim. You can see the possibilities. You can understand the plans. And you can even see the purpose of the Lord. Even though you may not be in a place where you want to be. The place where God suggested you to be. By faith, you can see it from here. I can see it from here. So whether you want our church to move from place to place, it, it may tend to get discouraging. And even in our lives, it may tend to get discouraging. So what I want to do in this message is look at this passage in Haggai and, and then go to the Hebrews 11. So we can all leave it now encouraged and inspired that no matter what we face in life, we can see what God's doing. But he's promised us from him. Right, right. You already said let's go. Let's go. Uh, so you, hey, you want to move on, you got to have faith for a godly perspective. Look at verses 1 and 3. Hey, you got a challenge for people, watch this, y'all, to first, in first chapter 1, to recommit themselves to God before committing themselves to the work of the Lord. See, sometimes we get it backwards. We want to do all the work of the Lord, come to church, singing in the choir, Join another ministry, but we don't recommit ourselves to God first. Yeah, right, right. We need to recommit our mind, our soul, our strength, our time yeah. to the Lord. Yeah. If you don't listen, you don't give God first your heart, you're all to the Lord, you will never have power and grace to the work of the Lord. Amen. To someone to say, I give myself away. I give myself away. Some of you can use me. My life is not my own. To you, I belong. I give myself away. So I had to get a to the root of the governor and Jeremiah the priest to continue building the temple. Some folks had that and some folks complaining because how the project was going and didn't appreciate the new temple that was being built. Yeah. 
to salvation by When he started being persecuted, mm. they were mm. mercy. Oh, oh, oh. So right to the Hebrews, let us know, let them know. African Muslim friends asked, man, why don't you leave the Muslim religion? Suddenly, the world was forked in two directions. And you didn't know which one.
Church of living God, sing together with all the voices. 